now let's see how to use input steps for entering text into a text field you can use these steps and for clearing text from a text field you can use these following steps so i have a test page so in in my test page i have several uh, text field so text field for first name i have id as f name so let's see how to use these predefined steps so i have created one scenario on which i am navigating to my test page and i am entering text abc into input field having id f name that is in first name i am entering abc text abc then i am clearing that input field now let's run this scenario so my test page is open and i enter text abc and then i have clear the text from first name text field so this is where you can use these entering text and clearing text steps steps for selecting drop down list basically you can select a drop down list by three ways by text by index and by value so i have one text field on my test page so you can see here it's a uh, by selecting text you can select by using this text you can select by the index of that option or and you can select by value so let's see how to use these steps so i have created one scenario where i am navigating to my test page and i am selecting option 5 by text so the drop down list have a id drop down list 1 you can see here then i am selecting option 1 by index means select one and i am selecting option by value that is s3 is a value for select s3 now let's run this scenario so i open my selected fifth option then i selected one for one first option and then later on i selected third option by value so this way you can select a option from drop down list now let's see how to use steps for selecting option from multi select list so you can select option by text by index and by value you can select all option from multi select or you can select un unselect all option from multi select so on my test page i have one multi select drop down element so it has a name cars and i have several options to select cars so let's see how to use these steps to select option from multi select so i have created one scenario where i am navigating to my test page and i am selecting volvo option by text from multi select drop down having name cars then i am selecting fourth option by index from multi select drop down having cars then i am selecting opel option by value from multi select drop down then i am unselecting all the options and later on i'm selecting all options from so let's run this scenario so my test page has been open you can see first option is selected volvo then audi is selected fourth by i'm selected by index and then opel by value then i unselected all the options and then selected all the options from multi select so this way you can select option from multi select drop down list steps for selecting checkbox 
you can check checkbox using these steps you can uncheck a checkbox using these steps or you can toggle a checkbox using these steps so on my test page i have several checkboxes checkbox 1 and checkbox number 5 are selected by default so i have created one scenario where i am checking the checkbox having id checkbox as chk3 that is the third checkbox you can see the id of this checkbox is chk3 then i am unchecking a checkbox having id chk1 so checkbox 1 has is by default selected and i am unchecking this checkbox then i am toggling a checkbox having id chk4 so you can toggle means you can uncheck if it is checked or you can check if it is unchecked so let's run this scenario So third checkbox has been checked. So this way you can check and uncheck checkbox by using these predefined steps. Steps for selecting radio button. To select a radio button you can use these steps. To select one option from radio button group you can use these steps. You can select option by text and you can select option by value. So on my test page I have uh, several radio buttons. So I will select radio, radio button 2. So it has a ID RDB2. So I have created one scenario where I am navigating to my test page and I am selecting radio button having ID RDB2. So now let's run this scenario. So you, now you can see radio button 2 is selected. So this way you can use predefined steps for selecting radio buttons.